All right, so thank you everyone for joining. Uh, it's that kind of session again, you know, the closing session. So um, EuroPython 2020, the 19th EuroPython conference, uh, is almost over. And uh, for some this is uh, probably sad, for others it's actually a good thing because it was quite quite intense, uh, tiring, stressful, and uh, you know, it was you know, long hours. But it's not over yet, so there's still something coming, which is called Sprints, the hackathons on Saturday and Sunday. And I already posted um, some instructions or some, you know, explanations of how we think we're going to run them. Uh, if you want to run a sprint, please go to this page that I have posted here and register your sprint there. We Right now we have these sprints already set up, but we can add additional ones. Um, tomorrow morning we would have to add them. Uh, and then does he have the applause ready? And then uh, we, yeah, we we can then uh, take it away from I there. So I I want to, oh, I would like to have uh, all the sprint teams do a short presentation, basically like what you normally do at a regular sprint, uh, where you present all the different teams and then people move off into different rooms to then actually work. So it would be nice if you could prepare something for two minutes or so, very short, and then we can do that tomorrow. Right, so some statistics. Uh, we had uh, between 900 and 1,000 uh, attendees from over 70 countries. Um, the, the we cannot really give you an exact number because the closest we can give you to the number of attendees is the number of unique uh, email addresses, and that's somewhere in between those two numbers. Um, but, uh, you know, some attendees, they have not really assigned their tickets to the right people, and so it's not really... Um, clear how many we actually had. We have sold over a thousand tickets, um, sold or registered for the sprints, they were free, right, so they were not really sold. Uh, 648 conference and sprint tickets, 350 sprints only tickets, which is a lot more than wha what we had expected. We were expecting 250 conference and sprint tickets and only maybe 200 sprint only tickets. Uh, so that was a lot better. Uh, also number of sponsors were a lot better. We had more sponsor income than we had expected. And we, we actually do have quite a number of people uh, registered on the Discord server. So Friday, 653, which is, I think, quite amazing. The bot that we used, Chuckspot, really did an amazing job there to, to make that happen and so that we didn't have to manually onboard them. Uh, w of course, we would like to thank all the, the sponsors that we had, uh, especially Microsoft and Bloomberg, but also all the others, of course. Um, they basically made this uh, possible to, you know, took away a lot of the financial so risk I have for us. Some applause ready to go. So who's making all this happen? Well, we're actually just a very small team. We're a bit bigger actually than uh, at uh, the in-person event. But then if for the in-person event, we usually have people on site who help and uh, we don't have those in this case. So you know, the total number of volunteers that we have for running the conference actually putting everything together at the conference is a lot lower. And we put together a, a collage of, of some of the photos that you see here, but of course these are not all the, the volunteers, but you, you know, you can see a couple of people here. Hey Mark, um, hey Mark, this, uh, we, can't, uh, see we anything. can't see anything. And I can hear myself twice because it's coming through your audio. <laughs> Okay, sorry about that. Um, let, me, let me see. You can't see anything. Nope, we can hear everything. We can see nothing. Okay, now we're good on the audio and we're good on the slides. You mean now, you couldn't see all the slides I just presented? or? Yes. Well, no, we didn't see any of those. We just saw this one. Uh, you mean I forgot to see? Okay, anyway. <laughs> Hey, we've been going that. the whole conference with few technical difficulties. I mean, yeah, we well, have to you know, up. I mean, it has to start sometime, right? <laughs> okay, so um, this uh, basically, I, you know, I told you everything um, in audio, so nothing, you didn't really miss anything. Uh, so yeah, what you see here, these are the the people who made everything happen. Not all of them, you know, a subset. Um, and uh, this is the complete list of, of people who helped to produce your path in 2020. It's just 25 people, not really much for a 1,000 attendee conference. Um, 
and what we want to do now is we want to of course uh, give them you know the usual kind of applause that we do normally at the in-person conference everyone comes up to on on the stage now and then we have a big round of um, hand clapping uh, probably tiring <laughs> for the attendees but it's I think it's a good thing so let's try this here in the webinar the way that we have to do this uh, for the webinar is that we basically have to um, highlight every every single volunteer and then make them you know present them here in the zoom window and then uh, we will run a, a round of applause so let me stop the screen sharing again like this and then we can go ahead so this is essentially up to you jason and martin how you want to run this right now Do you want to say anything about each one, Mark? It might make it go smoother. Okay, so this is Ammo. Uh, you can always read the name, I think, down in the in the in the window in the uh, Zoom window, but I don't know whether it's uh, shown on YouTube as well. So, uh, Martin, please start the applause. We just keep the applause running. Maybe you can, you know, take down the volume a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> This is Stefan. <laughs> this is Bruno. <laughs> Sitting in the IFS. <laughs> Watching us from space. This is Anders. This is Camilla. <laughs> this is Lais. <laughs> this is Chuck. Sylvia. <laughs> this is Sun. <laughs> this is Martin Boris. This is Simon. <laughs> Who's next? Bart and Christian? Oh, I have to applaud myself. <laughs> <laughs> this is Nicholas. This is Rachel. <laughs> and who's this? <laughs> it's you. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> well, are we done uh, yet? <laughs> yeah, like, do we have time? Because, like, we well, have. Well, I can't highlight time. myself, Mark. I, I don't have the tools. <laughs> <laughs> right. So let's give uh, let's give you an applause as well. So can you show your webcam? There you go, Jason. <laughs> right. Um, in the Q and A, there are some uh, some questions actually. So I don't There's know whether questions. we have time so to go for that. <laughs> Can we go back to the start slide? Yes, of course I can go back. Let me just search. Uh, this time I'm actually going to share my screen. Um, let me do that. So let's go back to let's go back to the stats. This is sorry. This is the stats page. 
Um, Some people really want to know about uh, the code of conduct cases, whether we have any. <laughs> uh, there is a slide for this. I'm going to come to that. I just okay. want to say before we, we move on, I just want to say that thank you very much to the entire team. This has been a really amazing uh, experience and, uh, well, it's been a pleasure. Right, so let's uh, let's move on. Uh, so, of course, we're going to have a conference next year, right? So next year is going to be Europe Python 2021 and uh, we need some help. And the way that you can sign up for, for helping, uh, hopefully we're going to make this an in-person conference. So it's going to be, you know, we can actually have beers together. We can have an organizer dinner. We can uh, do lots of things in Dublin. Um, is by, you know, writing to board at europython.eu and telling us where you want to help. Um, there's definitely enough to do. So we would really appreciate that. Uh, this is the slide for the code of conduct issues. So we have zero reported conduct issues for inappropriate behavior. We have zero reported communication issues for uh, spam speakers. Can we get applause for that? I mean, seriously, <laughs> that is fantastic. <laughs> Martin. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you very much to the, to the attendees. Uh, you did an excellent job as well. I think this is very good. <laughs> There's some nice background there stuff. Feels like at the conference. That's rather. <laughs> Are there finger sandwiches now? Can I have, can I have something to eat from the conference? Or do I have to stuff on my own? The is open, yeah. Okay, so let's uh, move on to your Python Society. Uh, as you may know is the organization behind this. We are a non-profit organization. All the profit that we make from these conferences goes towards the Euro -Python, uh, European Python community. We support conferences and projects. You can apply for grants. You go to the grants page that we have and then uh, we are going to you know, help you running your conference. Um, we'll, we'll probably if you want to do something online come to us ask us we have lots of experience now we want to share that experience because it's you know would be useless if we just throw it all away and we want to share this knowledge uh, but also if you need financial support we can help you with that as well you can come become member of that uh, your Python society simply by going to the website signing up and then we have to vote you in which we usually do and uh, then you are a member this is the current Euro Python Society board at uh, regular pro uh, conferences, uh, in-person conferences. We have the General Assembly at the conference, at the Euro Python conference, but this year it was just too much work, so we just uh, dropped it. We're going to have it afterwards. So you see here Anders, uh, Reiko, Sylvia, Stefan, Martin and myself. Those are the uh, current society board members. We also had Angel and Jakub on the board, but they stepped down uh, after we switched to the online event. Uh, we are going to have the General Assembly in a few weeks. I know sometime in August, maybe end of August or something. We have to see. Um, like I said, you can sign up and then uh, if you sign up and you're voted in, then you can vote at that General Assembly. <coughs> the General Assembly itself, well, it's rather boring, I uh, must admit. I mean, there's nothing we can do about it because the, the agenda of the General Assembly is actually hard-coded into our bylaws, so it's difficult to make a fun event. Right, so we loved having you. Normally we would say have a good trip home. Um, in this case I think we should say stay safe and healthy and um, see you again next year for your present 2021. You can already mark the dates. I didn't put them here on the slide. The dates are July 26 to August 1st. Um, yeah, it's we most definitely going to ha happen in Dublin because we are we have a contractual obligation now uh, to do it there uh, in that week. So we're going to do everything that we can. Um, please spread the word about the conference, whether you liked it or not. Uh, and if you liked it, then perhaps also bring your friends. If you come to Dublin, Ireland is a fantastic place to do vacation. It's a fantastic time around. Um, the, you know the, the the time of year is fantastic to to come to Ireland to travel around a bit um, so you can stay longer and it's definitely going to be uh, enjoyable. Right, so uh, now it's party time. 
Um, actually, I'm, I'm going to set um, I answer a few questions maybe before we do this. Uh, so Definitely let me just go do. through the questions. <coughs> I have seen a setup.py that means uh, we can package and distribute. Oh, our those data are some old questions, Mark. Are <laughs> those are old so questions. <laughs> there's, a, there's a glitch with this room, but I've got the latest questions here. So one person okay. said, was this online conference satisfying for the team? Are there any disasters? The only disaster <laughs> that, that, that was uh, that uh, the uh, the first keynote uh, where basically we you know it's a bit you know embarrassing that the first talk uh, is a no show and but I think we we managed quite well uh, by having it today in the dinner at the dinner time so that was fine and you know we kind of um, glossed it over a bit uh, so I think that that was good that was pretty much the only disaster let's call it. I mean, we bad. just had a couple of, you know, the usual little fires that we, we're pretty good about putting those out with our coats. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, you always have these small little issues that, you know, maybe, you know, like screen sharing doesn't work like what I just had or what Mark Smith had in the in the session um, or, you know, audio issues sometimes. Um, we had relatively few Internet issues, uh, which is which is good. Uh, we had a few issues with YouTube, the stream sometimes not working. Uh, but that was more, you know, connectivity between Zoom and YouTube because we are not really in that loop. Uh, so we just sometimes had to restart it. Right. Uh, James said we had le uh, lightning talks also had less issues. I think. Uh, they yeah, lightning talks went really, really well. But we have a good technology now. Anders bought this, uh, this device for doing the lightning talks at the in-person conference. So it's much easier now. Uh, Johnny wants to know if the Discord server is going to be archived because we had loads of good discussions. It's it's definitely going to stay online for you know the next couple of months. What we're going to do with it, whether we can archive it, maybe put it somewhere. Um, I don't know how that works. Uh, you can probably tell us better, Jason. So uh, we what we want to maybe do probably we can stop is everybody like nobody can message anymore uh, except maybe only the administrators or something like that and it could just stay there for people to come back to check stuff if then that's if, a, if, yeah. if we can make it read only and we can be you know relatively sure that it will stay up otherwise maybe we should find some way to you know i don't know archive it in some sense like you know archive.org or something right I another board could grab all the messages <laughs> yeah something like that so that because there's there's a lot of content on the on the discord server now lots of lots of references and things uh, which uh, we do want to save. Um, we still have to do some discussion how we're going to do that, so it's not really clear yet. But this is, in, in, you know, we intend to keep everything that we can up online. Right, so uh, this is the best time in Ireland, says Namrata. Beautiful and sunny. Join us next year here. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> we're going to try to do that. Um, and then James uh, is suggesting a Python script to scrape Discord. Might actually work, you know, at least, you know, read all the content using the API. Oh, <coughs> the Discord API is quite... Uh, <laughs> 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 the, the Discord API is quite capable and it's easy to use. So, um, you know, if you want to play with bots, I think Discord is a perfect way to, to get into bots. Um, it's really nice. So let's come back to the, um, to the slide. Is it still showing? Yeah, it yeah it's been showing this whole time. That's all right. Uh, so now it's party time. Uh, we have a party hall channel, it's called on Discord. Uh, we should probably all mingle there. And then at, um, at uh, 2130, that's uh, eight minutes in the past, we are going to start the work peril uh, in the Microsoft track. And then after that, we're going to do karaoke talks in the Microsoft track as well. I just tried one of these karaoke talks uh, for the D-Wave talk. That was a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> because the speaker was 50 minutes too late, so <laughs> I enjoyed that, yes. So, yeah, thank you again. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Thank you very much.